Well, guys, here is a long-awaited, several months waiting for me to do a whole brand new tutorial, as now I've got free chance to do it. Plus, I think I'm going to try it out with all the BS we got to deal with. I'm back to making tutorials on how to make trucks and tracks for ROR, and now I'm going to start doing tutorials on how to make stuff on Blender. Now, of course, before I do that, I need to do a tutorial on how do you even get Blender set up to do that stuff? Because it's not simple as, oh, install Blender and you're done. Nope. You got a whole bunch of process to go first. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to explain it all too. And hopefully, no BS happens. So anyways, first, you need to have a folder for Blender where you're going to put it at. You can put it wherever you want. So then once you have that, you then got to go to this site right here. And you got to specifically download Blender 2.79B. You have to download this version because in order for you to um, import and export ROR stuff on the Blender, you need a, pro a tool, an importer export that you have to install on the Blender. But that will only work on 2.79B. It will not work on the newer versions last I checked. So if you want to do this, you have to use this Blender only. Anything newer will not work. So once you find the link for Blender 2.79B, you press on it. And then you go down and download this one, Blender 2.79B Windows.64.zip. Unless you're doing, uh, unless your computer's 32-bit, then you get this one. Now I would download it, but it takes forever for me for some reason. My dad's laptop, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I already had downloaded beforehand to get everything all set up. And I'm gonna have this in my folder for later on use if need be. See, look how quick that was. Unlike when I download on the other link it would, it would take like several hours for no reason even though it's the same size so once you download blender close that out you then drag all the files into your new blender folder come on grab everything drag it in and then wait for everything to extract and I gotta delete something too to explain something as well I'm gonna delete this really quickly god forbid watch I'm gonna probably need it so now, you got Blender set up, but that's not all. You need to also download this. There is a site too, let me key go. Here's the link right here. I haven't tried out yet, but this is the exact um, zip that I have, so I'm gonna assume it's the correct one unless proven otherwise. But if it doesn't work, because this is a problem I've had, seen a lot of people have, I also have my version, which works, and I also put it in the Blender folder where you can download from there in the um, comments or description that way you can get right then there too so gonna download that really quickly alright so then as you just saw earlier oh, no go away go back to the blender folder and yep right here you just drag it into the folder alright there you go so you got that all set up but it's not done yet so now gonna go load up blender alright now you gotta delete all this crap. You have to um right. No, it's hard to because my laptop, my dad's laptop doesn't have a um left or mouse, left or right mouse button. So you gotta be very difficult with the controls. Cause I'm right clicking right there, not working. So you gotta right click on them and then hit delete to delete all that. Now, let me make it bigger. Now you still got stuff the importer and export. So you gotta go down to file, uh, user preferences. You go on the add-ons, install add-on from file. And now you gotta find where you installed it at. And of course, like it's not doing it right off the bat, being a dick. Oh my god, why can't you just automatically be there by default? And once again, I like how desktop is not showing up as an option. I appreciate that very much. Here we go, desktop, uh, Blender, here we go, install it from add-on, now you gotta look for Ogre, so here we go, and there we go, it's already selected, you gotta select these two things right here if they're not selected, so then once that's done, save user settings, alright, now it should work, now of course, still not quite done yet, so what you also need to do is, I already have a truck for my test, as I brought my moneymaker truck out here for this test. So now, you have to find the mesh or material, or well, actually the mesh, let's see, um, moneymaker body. It would be nice if it showed an actual thing so I could see better. 
Gotta find the body. That's the truck file. All right, here we go. So you're gonna need to find the mesh, and then you're gonna go into your ROR folder, and then you gotta find uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, here we go. Ogre XML converter. You take the mesh and you drag it over and you drop it right on top of the Ogre XML converter. Let it do its thing. Some, if it's a big file like a body or more particularly like a stadium or something like that, it's going to take longer. All right, there we go. Now we got to see if there's an XML in there. Because if it works correctly, there'll be an XML. And lovely, not showing up. So that's not a good sign. Well, hopefully it works. But anyways, if it does work, you go to File, Import, Ogre. And of course, now I gotta get to the trucks. Uh, money maker. Here we go. Oh my goodness, 54 megabytes. That's huge. Unfortunately, too, at least for me, Blender is very slow if it imports a file that's bigger than 25 megabytes. And then, God forbid, if it's like 100 megabytes, good luck with that. You're probably not gonna have it load up whatsoever. Even on my dad's laptop, which is more powerful than my desktop. It still won't load up things that are above 100 megabytes. So unfortunately, this could take a while. And of course, another thing too is, I don't even know if it even worked or not because I don't see the XML file in here, which it should have done. See, this is why it needs to show up. Oh yeah, that remind me too. I'm an idiot. Because there's one thing you got to do beforehand too, or else it could show up with problems. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it did do it. But now I got to do something else. So, because if you import it, Lately, it, this used to not be a problem, but now it is a problem with like the newer stuff. If you import on the Blender, it's going to be like all black and stuff. Like no, all the textures and everything is going to be broken and materials and everything. So what you have to do is, and of course, I don't know what it is, but some reason my dad's laptop always does this when you do stuff on a folder. Like right click something, it always crashes. So now please don't crash this time. Just let me do what I need to do. You need to right click it and you need to go, you need to have a program called no, at Notepad++. Go download that and then you edit all your mesh materials like this. Now let's see. All right, looks like it's not showing for me because normally lately, for some reason, Blender when it imports, I mean exports a mesh material, it'll have some, I can't remember what it is because it's not showing up. It'll be, it'll be like a, um, it would be this and then a whole bunch of text right here that's not supposed to be there. You need to delete all that, otherwise it'll show up wrong and black and broken all that. Wish it, would, wish it was showing up so I could show you all how to fix it, but it's not. But at, it should say material, the name of the material, and that's it. So if you see this combined with a whole bunch of like random text afterwards, then you have to delete all that back to here for it to load properly. And there we go. There's my moneymaker truck on on Blender. Now, of course, I can't move it around because on a laptop, I need a mouse with a um, mouse wheel in order to do anything. But there you go. There's my moneymaker truck on Blender. So, yeah. That, guys, is how you get Blender set up and import and export. What? Well, not export. Um, to export stuff, by default, you shouldn't have to do any like more advanced stuff so if it's just how it should be like just upload a truck repaint all that even though you don't really need to do it to export you need to merge with control J because everything's selected yeah control J that merges everything you re rename it whatever you want it to be so I'm just gonna rename it test then you hit control A to have this thing up you hit rotation scale you hit location and then you go to file export and then you put it right here you gotta rename it test and you hit export now of course it's gonna take a long time too if it's a big thing big um, newer tracks and trucks are gonna take quite a while but once it's done you should see just the um, truck with like a little message on the side Uh, this tutorial was about how to get Blender set up and end up being also how to import and export stuff. So let's go see.
if it did it. Nope, no text yet. So what it's going to do is it's going to make a material and a mesh.xml but it has to make it fit still. The guys don't get how something honestly that small takes that long. Like I I'm not kidding guys. If you load up something that's like bigger than 25 megabytes, it's going to take a while. And if you get up to 100 megabytes, then good luck because I've never had a file load up that's that big before. They always Blender always crashes for me. So, good luck with that, because there are a lot of staying models, unfortunately, that are way too big. And you've got to do more advanced stuff to edit them. I remember one track. Oh, there we go. I remember, I think it was one of the Oakland tracks I did last year when I was looking up stuff for MTWS. It was like 600 megabytes, and it would not load. Yep, there it is. Te oh, it did it. See, originally, or the original blender that I have, it would do test material. It would make the material and mesh, and then I'd be done. But lately, what we'll be doing is text, the material, and the mesh.xml. So now it's doing what it used to do. So now I'm really curious why the heck won't it do it for me anymore like it used to. But anyways, what it should be is material and mesh.xml. If it shows up mesh too, then you shouldn't have to do this. But if it only shows up mesh.xml, you then take it, the xml, if it, you're going to load up. Oh, that's right. They all crashed. Dang it. Ah, they all Every single one of them crashed. That's right. Oh no. Here we go again, people. The exact same problem I was talking about earlier. Always a problem with my dad's laptop. Always crashes when I just right click something in a folder. Every single time. It's irritating. And that's why, outside of my dad's computer being very powerful, it sucks. So I gotta load up it again. And now I gotta load up the ROR folder. I think this is it. Oh my god. But anyways, you take the XML file that I said and you drag it over the XML converter like we did earlier with the um, mesh. And then it makes the, the um, mesh file and then you're good to go and see if it works in game. But yeah, unfortunately, as you can see, my dad's computer is being a piece of shit and won't let me do just simple things. All you have to do, just let me right click and I'm good. Oh wow, now it's even crashing because I left click to go into my games. Good, good times, people. Good times with even a better computer and piece of shit. But anyways, people, that is how you get Blender set up. You need Blender 2.79B, and you need the ROR um, XML, con you know, Mesh Material Converter, which both links are right here. And if they don't work for you, you also have my version, which I have zipped up, which has Blender and... The um, thing already put in. You just got to install it, though, like I showed in the video. And hopefully everything works. And if you, if it's all black and um, black textures and materials in the game, you got to delete this and a whole bunch of stuff after, like, vert Cole or whatever would be right there. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. So now I'm going to try and get into more tutorials very soon, people.